Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom, and I have another little card to share with you today. Hey, so I am using Jada Blossom's Girl Gnome dies, along with their Gnome dies Halloween add-ons, their card mat dies, their stitch circle dies, their Gnome dies Candy Charm add-ons, and their periodic words. I'm also going to use their stitch panel dies and their, um, what's that called? The Know Me Want Candy stamp set. And I did put that together, uh, that little combination together on the last release and review. And I'm using Doodle Bugs Booze and Brew six inch pad, their odds and ends that match and their Swiss dot rainbow petite prints in six inches. So I, first of all, this paper is from the Booze and Brew six inch pad and I cut it out using our card mat dies. And I'm going to stick that down with ATG tape onto an A2 sized vertical fold um, paper tray ink white card base. So that's 4.25 by 11 scored at five and a half inches with my Teflon bone folder um, and my Martha Stewart scoreboard. And now I'm going to add a two inch strip of paper from that same booze and bruise pad. This one has little bottles on it, which kind of goes with my theme. And I'm just going to line that up about a quarter of an inch from the edge of that black paper and then I will trim off the overhang with a pair of scissors. So easy stuff and like I said I did put that gnome together on the last release and review the one uh, with the Halloween gnome add-ons or the gnome Halloween add-on dies. Okay so now I'm going to add a stitch circle die and then the um, the smallest stitch circle dies from the candy charms and banners or the candy or the Gnome Dies Candy Charm add-ons. And then the second largest is from the Stitch Circle Dies. So, you know, those two are from that Stitch Circle Die. So I'm kind of going for like bubbles, right? That's the idea. Trying to decide how I'm going to use that Happy Halloween Gnome. That's from that Gnome Want Candy stamp set that's stamped onto um, Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock and inverse fine Claire Nocturne ink. Now I'm going to stick down these little circles with some art glitter glue. Still trying to figure out where that sentiment's going to go. And I know that I'm kind of out of frame there, but you know, I'm just trying to figure it out. Am I gonna put it on the bottom or the top? But in the meantime, I'm going to stick down that gnome. Um, that was layered on American Crafts cardstock. And then I've got American Crafts cardstock for the gray hair. The patterned outfit is from that same um, Booze and Brews six inch pad from Doodlebug. And the, and the face is P13s skin tones stamping pad okay so now i'm going to pop up this little bottle that he's hold or she's holding with some stampin up dimensionals and um you know the pattern paper that's in that little bottle is also from that uh, swiss swiss dot rainbow petite prints the bottle is cut at a white cardstock from paper trank and the little tiny stopper is nina 80 pound or nina desert storm 80 pound cardstock And then now I've got that popped up. Isn't that cute? Still trying to decide where that Happy Halloween Gnome is going to end up. But in the meantime, I'm going to add a strip of paper to the inside of the card. That's one inch wide. And then I'll trim off the overhang with a pair of scissors, kind of as per usual. On the inside, I'm going to use some um, odds and ends, um, you know. So right now I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. And I decided to pull out the periodic words and I'm going to stamp the little sentiment that says boo. So it's the periodic uh, table. And then I'm going to trim out these little squares um, and put them on a, a stitched panel that's cut out of American Crafts card, black cardstock. So first of all, like I said, I'm stamping it on this green pattern cardstock that also came from the boos and brews. And, uh, you know, just easy stuff. And I'm just going to trim right on the line. And then I will take a Memento Tuxedo Black marker and edge the edges of it just to make sure, you know, just to make it look like I, you know, cut perfectly. Although this wasn't too hard because like I said, there's, it's straight. You know, straight lines are the easiest to cut, right? So I'm just using my EK Success scissors and I'm just separating out these little elements from the periodic uh, table stamp set or periodic words I guess it's called so I just thought it would be a cute little sentiment on the front so it'll just say boo and then on the inside it will have the little gnome sentiment 
So there you go. So I did take my stitch panel die and I cut out an American Crafts cardstock piece of paper. And I'm planning on lining it up right there. And then I'm going to have those letters, um, you know, lined up kind of perfectly with the with a, a good border. So I'm just edging each letter in that Memento Tuxedo Black marker. Really, I'm just coloring in, in the edge of that paper. It just makes it look like you cut everything perfectly. And there you have it. I'm going to take my reverse tweezers and my art glitter glue and I'm going to stick these down. So I'll have that sentiment that says boo, which I think is kind of fun, you know, the gnome is holding like a little um, flask, kind of like a mad scientist, right? And then you have the periodic words, which I think is kind of fun. This is an older stamp set from Jada Blossom. And they still have this in stock. So I think it's kind of fun. So I'm just going to stick that down onto the front of my card base with some ATG tape. In the upper left-hand corner, just trying to have a nice buffer there, making sure it's nice and straight. And then I will cut off the overhang with a pair of scissors. And then I'll get to decorating the inside of this card. So I've got some um, odds and ends from that booze and brews um, collection from Doodlebug. And I'm just going to add a bunch of those to the right hand corner. So I'm gonna add that little flask holder or a test tube holder. And then I'll add this flask that looks like it's kind of exploding on the front, right? And it's green, kind of matches what's going on the, fr on the front, right? And then I'm going to put my sentiment, Happy Halloween Know Me, kind of straddling those fun images on the inside of the card. There we are. And like I said, I'm adding it with my art glitter glue. And isn't that fun? I just think that that's lots of fun. And like I said, a super fast card, right? Now I'm going to pull out my Nouveau Jewel Drops in Key Lime. And the nice thing about these drops are that they are um, transparent. So right now they're going on kind of milky, but you'll notice in the, um, in the pictures in the end, they're nice and transparent, which is kind of fun for bubbles, right? So odd numbers and all that jazz. And then that is all there is to it. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog and be inspired. The Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these amazing products. And thank you as always for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And hopefully we will see you soon in my next one. Bye everyone.